Welcome to a video about generating health star ratings in a Foodworks Online nutrition labeling workspace. In this video, I will explain how to set up your workspace to calculate health star ratings, or HSRs for short, enter the required information for Foodworks to calculate the final HSR, display the HSR on the label, and print or publish HSR information from Foodworks. If you're not quite sure what health star ratings are, please watch the About Health Star Ratings video linked in the video description and in the related article section at the bottom of this support article. To quickly recap, the information you need to generate HSRs are values for energy, saturated fat, total sugars, sodium, protein, fiber, percent FVNL, and percent concentrated FV. You also need to assign your recipe to a HSR category. Let's begin by discussing how to set up your workspace to calculate HSRs. When creating a workspace, you can select Australia or New Zealand as the country. If you set the country to Australia, HSRs will be enabled by default and your workspaces will already be set up to calculate HSRs. If you select New Zealand, HSRs will be disabled by default and you will need to set up the workspace to calculate HSRs. I will create a new New Zealand workspace now with the sample data and show you how to set up the workspace to calculate HSRs. First, on the sidebar, select Workspace Settings and then select the Nutrients and Components tab. After that, select the Health Star Rating category and enable all nutrients within that category, including Health Star Rating, FVNL, Fruit, Vegetables, Nuts and Legumes, and Concentrated FV, Fruits and Vegetables. This New Zealand workspace is now set up to calculate HSRs. The rest of the information I will discuss in this video is relevant to both Australian and New Zealand workspaces. Note that the nutrients also required for HSRs to be calculated, including energy, saturated fat, total sugars, sodium, protein, and fiber, will already be enabled by default in your workspace. But if required, you can modify other nutrients in this nutrients and components tab as well. Now that the necessary nutrients and components are enabled for the workspace, you will then need to enter the values for each raw material in the nutrients tab. To show you how to set these values for a raw material, I will create an example new raw material and navigate to the nutrients tab. Then simply enter the values for each required field and click save. If you already have the nutrient information entered for all of your raw materials and have recently decided to enable HSRs, you can simply edit the percentage FVNL and percentage concentrated FV values in bulk by using the HSR bulk editor. To do this, on the sidebar, select bulk edit and select the FVNL tab. In the FVNL editor, all of your raw materials are listed in alphabetical order and you can enter the values for FVNL and CFV as required. A handy tip is that you can use keyboard shortcuts to make it quicker to enter the percentage FVNL and CFV. You can type A on your keyboard for 100% and Z on your keyboard for 0%. Keep in mind that if an ingredient has a mix of FVNL and concentrated FV, Foodworks automatically calculates the total V points. For definitions and how to determine FVNL and concentrated FV for your ingredients, see step five of section four in the guide for industry, which will be linked in the video description and in the related article section at the bottom of this support article. Also note that you do not need to manually provide points for P points and F points as Foodworks calculates these values automatically when there are values for protein and fiber in the recipes overrides tab and applies them to the baseline points as required. After all of your raw materials contain values for the required nutrients and components, you also need to ensure your final recipe is assigned to a HSR category. To do this, you first need to open the recipe then, on the General tab, select the appropriate category from the HSR slash NPSC category dropdown, for example, Category 2. 
For definitions and how to determine the HSR category for your recipes, see steps one and two of section four in the guide for industry, which is linked in the video description and in the related article section at the bottom of this support article. To summarize, there are three categories that receive an automatic HSR, including plain water, unsweetened flavored water, and fresh and minimally processed fruits and vegetables. Additionally, there are six other HSR categories described in the guide. These are the same categories used for nutrient profile scoring as described in the food standards code, and they are displayed on the screen now. If you'd like to have a read in depth, please pause the screen and press play when you're ready to move on. After all of the required information is entered for your raw materials and a HSR category is selected for your recipe, you will see the calculated value for the HSR in the analysis pane. To check that the necessary nutrients for HSRs are all calculating correctly, for the nutrients and components that include FVNL, concentrated FV, energy, protein, saturated fat, sugars, fiber, and sodium, Check that there are no question marks or uncertain values, which are values displaying in yellow, and that the values appear reasonable. If there is a question mark for one of the nutrients, for example, in my recipe, you can see that sodium has a question mark. This means that the final sodium value cannot be calculated due to missing values in all of the raw materials in this recipe. To resolve, in the analysis pane, select the nutrient with the missing value. In this case, it is sodium. Then, on the ingredients tab of the recipe, look at the nutrient focus column to check for the missing values in any of the ingredients. Then, select the ellipses icon to open the nested raw material to make the necessary changes. In this instance, you can see that all of my raw materials do not contain values for sodium, so I'll need to open them one by one and enter sodium values for the raw material, just like this. Once this is done for all of the raw materials in the recipe, you will see that the final recipe has a sodium value in the analysis pane. Now that we have established how to fix a question mark in the analysis pane, let's discuss what to do when a value is being displayed in orange, which means it is an uncertain value. For example, you can see here that sugars is being displayed in orange in the analysis pane which typically means that one or more of the raw materials in this recipe is missing a value for sugar. Again, to resolve, I can click sugar in the analysis pane and find which raw materials are missing the values for sugar. Then using the ellipses icon, I can open the raw material and add the value for sugar. Once this is done for all of the raw materials that are missing a sugar value, you will then see that for the final recipe, the sugar value is no longer displayed in orange. Now let's move on to displaying the HSR graphic on a label. When displaying the HSR on your label, Foodworks provides several standard designs for the HSR system graphic that you can choose from. For guidance on the principles of the HSR system and the details of its presentation on food packages, please see the style guide linked in the video description or at the bottom of this support article in the related article section. To include the HSR graphic for your label in Foodworks Online, on the Recipes Labeling tab, select the HSR sub tab and toggle on Show HSR on the label. Then select which version of the graphic you wish to display from the following options, HSR only, HSR plus energy, or HSR plus energy plus three prescribed nutrients. Then you can select the HSR mark orientation, including landscape, portrait left, and portrait right. You may also check the box next to QR code to display a quick response code on the label. Companies are encouraged to display a HealthStar rating QR code that directs consumers to the HealthStar rating website when scanned. When your label is ready and includes the HSR information, there are multiple ways to print or publish your label in Foodworks Online. Firstly, if you wish to generate a PNG of your label, simply select Generate PNG and it will download immediately. This option is valuable if you do not wish to make changes to the format or styling of the label generated in Foodworks. 
You can also copy your label information to your clipboard to be pasted into a word processing app such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs. To do this, select the copy label button to copy your label to your clipboard. The HSR graphic will then need to be copied separately by using the copy HSR button. You can also publish the labeling information for the sub recipes and recipes within your workspace to a CSV file. To do this, in your open workspace, click on the tools tab in the sidebar, then select the publish labeling information sub tab. Under the filter heading, define what resources you would like to include using the resource type and or the applied tags. You can see the results of this filter in the filter results container on the right hand side. After you've selected what you wish to publish, you then need to simply select publish. Depending on the size of what you are publishing, this may take some time. Once it's done, you can choose the download option to immediately download a zip file containing the data or click the copy option to send the download link to a colleague. For information about the published labeling information, or for steps to convert a CSV file into a Microsoft Access Database or TAB file, please read the support articles listed in the video description or in the related article section at the bottom of this support article. Note that when you publish your labeling data, Foodworks includes information to support HSRs. The HSR columns published are as shown on the screen. Please pause here to read in more depth and press play when you're ready to continue. Finally, if your labeling software requires the raw images of the HSR graphics, you can download the asset folder from Foodworks Online. To do this, on the sidebar, select the Tools tab and then click the Assets sub tab. Then select hsrassets.zip to download all the HSR graphics. Then you will need to select the downloaded hsrassets.zip to unzip the assets and use the PNGs. This brings us to the end of the video about generating health star ratings in a Foodworks Online nutrition labeling workspace. To access more video resources, please click the thumbnail on this screen. Thank you for watching.